Today on The Breakfast, Nigeria has fallen four places uh, in the latest ranking of the 2022 Corruption Perception Index by Transparency International. We'll discuss this ahead on the program. Also on The Breakfast, no fewer than 79 persons have committed suicide in Nigeria in 2022. We'll also look at the headlines on the front pages of today's National Dailies. We have quite a number of them on our table this morning. All these ahead on the breakfast right here on Plus TV Africa. Very good morning to you. Welcome. It's The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Hope you're having yourself a, a nice morning and getting up to a brand new day. Uh, excited for the day. My name is Kofi Bartels. I am Messi Ebopo. It's good to have you join us this morning. All right. And uh, if you're at home, you can just grab yourself a cup of uh, tea, coffee or even water and sit back, and relax and enjoy the program. It promises to be quite, quite interesting. We have a, an outstanding lineup of guests this morning to do justice to the topics and uh, you will really definitely enjoy the program. Now, while we, you're enjoying the program, some Nigerians out there are groaning um, because of uh, the scarcity of the Nigerian currency, the Naira, the new one. Um, the old Naira is no longer, it, it will soon no longer be in effect. Uh, in the next 10 days, uh, or the next nine days, today should have been the deadline uh, for the facing out of the old Naira notes and Central Bank of Nigeria gave uh, um, an extension of 10 days. Um, you know, Nigerian small walks of life, so residents of uh, people who reside in Nigeria uh, have been doing their best to try and get their Nairas swapped, the old notes for the new notes. Um, what we've seen trending uh, pictures, videos of, um, and tales of Nigerians struggling at different points um, I don't know, they should, what should we use as a soundtrack to these videos? If we mash them up, what song should we use as a, a soundtrack? Kofi, Kofi you, you should have given me a hint. Maybe Idris, we use Idris' song. Uh, that one that Obasanjo and Joe is said to have banned him for. That said um, Nigeria Jaga Jaga. Uh, I don't know. No, but no, but say, I mean, it's okay to say. It's just to Ashake. say. Which, which of us? Like? I don't know. It's one of that one. Organize. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we I don't know, but but you can see the tales of, of Nigerians, you know, struggling just to get their hands on the new <laughs> note so that they can spend it. Uh, you, I mean, can we listen to some of what they're saying? Is it possible? Let's see. I, th I think this has gone beyond residents uh, groaning or residents groan. This is residents struggle for the new Naira notes. That's what it should be, uh, right? Because that's what you can see right there. It's a uh, very, very unfortunate, very unfortunate incident. It's also comical. It has this comical part to it. And uh, if you look at all of the comments surrounding it, then you know, usually as we always say, Nigerians have no chill, right? But uh, I'm, I'm just asking myself, how worse can this be, really? I mean, look, look at all of that that's going on. But to be very honest and to talk about the realities that uh, a lot of persons have been going through too much stress 
just to have access to the notes. So if you walk into the banks, maybe that might be different from this morning. I, I can't really tell. But as of yesterday, uh, you find a lot of persons queuing. I mean, for those banks that are dispensing or ATMs that you have, uh, you know, giving out the notes, we're not even talking about the new Naira notes. It's a struggle for the currency now. Uh, people are struggling for the currency, cuts across, you know, different parts. And what this is speaking to is speaking to the issue of uh, cashless policy. It feels like uh, this is very loud in our ears or eardrum, and we need to pay attention to it. Uh, because at the end of the day, uh, a lot, those who are actually queuing for, I mean, queuing to get cash is that uh, there are some services that you probably need to, you know, exchange money. Maybe you, you want to, you want a service. For instance, you need to move from point A to point B and you definitely uh, need to pay cash because uh, I'm not sure that the Kobe, as we call them, or the downfall would be accepting, you know, transfers and they don't have POS, uh, you know, for you to swipe your ATM card and pay for what it is. So this is where we're actually moving uh, uh, towards. Yes, the CBN governor had made statement yesterday, but this also did not address the issue. There are also some other issues. I mean, it's very unfortunate that we have to go through this. There's almost really, you know, nothing to talk about this, but it's, it's sad when you see people struggling uh, just to get the new note and what have you. It's a good thing that, you know, CBN has also said that the notes, I mean, you still have time to swap the note. There will be still time for you to exchange this note uh, even after you know the extension time has expired but it, it didn't also state that it's a means of transaction you, you probably will not use it to transact after you know the deadline but you can uh, walk up to the banking hall and uh, give it out that's what it is but we can only manage you know we will always manage I remember my my niece telling me that you have to manage. So, yes, let's manage. Let's, you know, be patient. Let's be hopeful and everything would be, you know, better in no time. I'm very optimistic. Yeah. Um, Osita Nwa Nisobi yeah, is the um, director of the Corporate Communications Department of the Central Bank of Nigeria. Um, had to come out and do some explanation. I think uh, his work got a bit uh, hotter after Gordon Mayfield, the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria. Uh, presented himself uh, or reported himself uh, uh, at the uh, House of Representatives meeting after Speaker Femi Pajabia Mela, uh, uh, you know, threatened to issue a warrant for his arrest. And he gave explanations why he had not been able to attend uh, or respond to the invitation or honor the invitation uh, of the uh, House of Representatives for the past few months. Uh, he said he was on official assignment, he was on official vacation, and he had to take a health break. And But he gave assurances, you know, like you said, Mercy, of um, the uh, willingness of the Central Bank of Nigeria to obey the law, or right to obey the law, uh, setting up the, uh, the Central Bank, the law that actually gives, uh, empowers the Central Bank and empowers him to be the governor of the Central Bank. And we're talking about... Um, uh, the provision of Section 20, Subsection 3, you know, of the Central Bank of Nigeria Act, um, and that was breaking news yesterday. Everybody scampered to, you know, in the newsrooms, you know, online or virtual and uh, fiscal, all scampered to try and put the information out. Uh, it was quite surprising. And the House of Reps, uh, the committee chairman and the members of that committee, and indeed the entire Nigerians, heaved a sigh of relief. So uh, I do not know people will be still at the ATMs points and at the banking halls and banking compounds, uh, you know, in their numbers like we've seen, trying to get their hands on the new, uh, the new notes. But one very interesting thing, the uh, committee chairman at the House of Reps, um, in that uh, uh, meeting with the Central Bank of Nigeria and led by its governor said, was that um, you know, they didn't need to go through this route to let Nigerians know that after uh, the deadline now, which is of 10th of February, that they could still swap their old Naira notes for the new ones. I mean, and he said one word, communication. This is what the chairman of the committee said, communication. In fact, at a point, some members of the committee were trying to hush him up because they felt that he was, uh, was, was about to lash the CBM. But he said, hey, I'm the chairman of this committee and I have the right to talk. Let me talk. And he said, see, communication. And I think he spoke for majority of Nigerians. You know, because we've had a lot of unclear um, things about this particular 
the past few policies or the past few months, the cash withdrawal policy, the Naira swap policy, uh, we've had policy somersaults, so policy U-turns, if you want to call it back. Right now, people are not even sure as to whether they can get the new Naira over the counter. People are not sure again because of the inconsistency in the messaging of the Central Bank of Nigeria. So the committee chairman, Messi, said, you know, communication is key. And if they knew that they were going to accept the old, the old Naira notes after the deadline, they should have communicated this to the public. If they knew they were going to extend the deadline from the 31st of January to the 10th of February, they should have communicated ahead of time. You know, ahead of time. So this is very important. Well, um, they are saying that you can, like you said, Mercy, spend. Uh, you can. You cannot spend the the old naira note after the 10th of February deadline. But Nigerians can swap it, uh, the old notes for the new notes. But um, uh, on one be the central bank spokesman had to say that after the deadline, Nigerians will be able to redeem the face value of the naira only uh, at the central bank of Nigeria and not at commercial banks. Only at the central bank of Nigeria and not at commercial uh, uh, banks, subject to meeting certain conditions. It's quite interesting. Subject to meeting certain conditions. What are these conditions? Uh, Nigerians uh, will have to find out, uh, uh, and those in the country will have to find out. But here we go again. Um, so this is where we are. Uh, Messi, yesterday I tried to get the new Naira note <laughs> at the bank across Why? the office. As I stepped out, I was walking towards the ATM majestically because I know that bank is a big bank and uh, one of the top banks in the U.S. have money in that ATM. He shouted from afar, money no day, you know day. <laughs> so I should go to the other oh. one. At, uh, it's at Deo Lao, Deo, somewhere. I should go and I said, oh, God, may I go house? I, <laughs> you know, I haven't redeemed oh, that oh, money. Oh. <laughs> you know, and what I say is that, you know, what's happening is beginning to resemble what we saw in Greece when they had their economic meltdown. They defaulted on debts <laughs> and all that. It's beginning to resemble what we saw, we saw in Venezuela. You know, it's beginning to resemble what we saw in Argentina many years ago and recently in Sri Lanka. And the sign for economies that are going, heading, or countries that are heading to the economic abyss, okay? The countries that are heading to the economic abyss, uh, abyss is that um, you, you find queues and crowds who are trying to get money out and they can't. That's one. Number two, if we're having fewer Naira notes than um, we used to have in circulation, these new notes, then it means that some people who want to withdraw money, they won't find it. And I think that that is not, I don't know if, if, if that is the best. Because the legal tender is the reason why you have legal tender. There's the reason why you have the, 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 the currency. It's because it drives trade. It drives commerce. No, okay? no, you know, so people buy and sell. No, so, 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 so naturally, I mean, this will not be the first time we have had, you know, new Naira notes or changing our currency uh, in terms of the print and what have you. And that has actually gone smoothly. But, you know, the excuse and some of the conversations that you have is that uh, the CBN is responsible for regulating the note uh, currency and what have you. And it is also the CBN's responsibility to ensure that, hey, we're not in inflation. And so this might just be a way to say uh, we're not experiencing inflation as it should be or as it is. I mean, inflation is on top of the issue. And then when you begin to look at it, you ask yourself, does this in any way solve inflation or it complicates the situation? But I like the fact that there's been a response and that will be on a, you know, next top trending, uh, the response from the CBN governor, Godwin and uh, it, it will, you know, would probably just... Uh, put a bit of uh, that rest to us. I'd, I'd just like to get to that. So MFILI, or the CBN, says that uh, the banks will still accept old Naira notes. The banks will still accept old Naira notes. He says it will continue to accept the old Naira notes even after no, the he, deadline. He, 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 said, he said so, but what I just said is that the CBN spokesman, sorry to interject, Messi, came out to clarify after Emefili's appearance at the, at the House of Rights meeting. What I just said was that he says that the clarification is that you can't go to the commercial banks to um, swap the old Naira notes. You have to take it to the Central Bank of Nigeria. Well, I, I, I'm sure that no, no, not the commission. You know, the, the, the same, the, just the same way, uh, just the same way we have. You know, there's an outcry. The reason for the deadline is because Nigerians have been very vocal. They have put out their feelings. I mean, there's a lot that's been going on, and that is also is the reason why they extended it. So I want to believe that Nigerians will still talk about this. Uh, yes. Because when you say you know, go to the CBN, the CBN, the CBN yeah. is not like commercial banks. No, no, but you, you, don't, you don't find it anywhere. Yes, yes. So, right? so, so, so what, what he's saying, this is what he said, according to the provision of Section 20, because like I said, the man had to come out to clarify things. He quickly, hurriedly 
uh, address the press. This is the uh, director of corporate communications uh, department, CBN Osita. One is will be uh, spoke to news when he called them and said, "See what." Is happening. Don't get it wrong. Don't get it twisted. If I want to use that word, that that you cannot take the money to any commercial bank anywhere because it ceases to be legal tender. And it says in climes all over the world, any money or currency that ceases to be legal tender, you know, uh, cannot be changed at the normal banks. You have to go to the controlling authority. Now, in Nigeria's case, it's the central bank of Nigeria. So, so I, I, I so, remember so vividly with its own peculiar challenges. No, no. So know. I also remember. But, but be, be I, just quickly to add that, I urge people not to sit back at home. Sorry, Mercy. No, and, no. and 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 wait till oh, I go go central so, bank. So, so I don't, I don't think that that's uh, you know, it should be cast in stone. I don't think that that's rocket science. Uh, if the CBN is saddled with the responsibility, that's why you have the House of Representatives or the committee. Uh, saddled with the responsibility of new Naira note redesign and, you know, the swap calling for a mefili. And at, at the end of the day, he's accepted. He said, yes, we stand with the, you know, with the ho House of Reps at this point. Because vividly, there's also reference to section 20, subsection 2, 3, 4, almost 5 of, you know, the acts. CBN Act of 2007, and that has stated that the, the bone of contention is that, oh yes, when it gets to that time, the owner note, you can't swap it, it's over, it's no longer a legal tender, but um, these conversations are not cast in stone, and of course, if you want to begin to go to the courts to get interpretation, then if the CBN is saddled with the responsibility, I'm just saying logically, if you think about it, if you're saddled with the responsibility of ensuring that, yes, they are uh, going to take out or you know, collect these funds, the old note, as a legal tender, then they'll find a way. It, it, it's not going to be a big issue. I'm sure that clarity would definitely come. And I, I'm also hoping that the CBN is listening in. Uh, the, the central, the governor of the CBN is also, I mean, listening in, uh, Godwin and Mefili himself. So it, it shouldn't be a problem. Right. But it's okay that that's been mentioned. But we know that we'll definitely find a way out. And uh, speaking to the reason why we have several arms of government, checks and balances. This is very important. I remember vividly when, you know, the House of Representatives, the House rejects it and people, we begin to politicize it and we begin to think, oh, this is about politics. It's about a certain political party. Everything should not be politicized. Uh, it, very big thumbs up to, you know, the House of Reps for um, carrying out their duty and ensuring that they remind the CBN of her constitutional and you know legal obligation to Nigerians because I feel like it's a reminder. Don't forget that the CBN governor had been summoned over time, you know, to appear, and of course he made the excuse uh, or he gave the reason why he, you know, he wasn't able to show up because it was out of the country. But the reason, if you look at it, they, they constantly made a reference. They made reference to that section of the Act, uh, section 20, subsection two, three, four, and five of the. Uh, CBN Act of 2007, and, and, and we're here now. So yes, it, it's a good one uh, that, you know, you, you will still have the opportunity not to lose your Naira. Uh, you will still have an opportunity to exchange it because the CBN will be collecting. Uh, whether or not it will be directly, I'm sure they'll find a way to do all of that. But we need to move away because we're out of time and we'll definitely return with uh, our top... I beg your pardon, uh, the papers this morning, we'll call it off the press. Please stay with us. Good morning. <laughs>